G'day and welcome back to the channel. Well, that's going to be a bit vibrating. I wonder how much vibration you're actually getting in this. It was about at this point I realised I'd need a different camera mount if I was going to film like this. But rather than waste all the other footage I took, I thought I'd give you a quick kayak guide for Middle Harbour and show you some of the things that you can see that are worth checking out and some of the places you might want to go. Tunks Park is a great gateway to Middle Harbour for those of you that want somewhere a little bit more open water than Davidson Reserve. It's located in the suburb of Northbridge just south of Chatswood and has easy access to all of Middle Harbour. The launch is on a boat ramp but there's also access from a pontoon. You'll find it in Google as Tunks Park Boat Ramp at Brothers Avenue in Northbridge. All the parking you can see here is free parking, although there's kids sports over the back, so it does fill up quickly on the weekends. Those flags are for a coffee truck, which is really great to have at a launch. There's also trailer parking. The boat ramp can be a little slippery at low tide, but you can see at the end of the pontoon there where there's a kayak launch area. We did look at launching on that beach area in front of us, but it's a fairly decent step down into the water and at low tide it wouldn't be achievable at all. When you launch from Tunks, the first thing you'll want to do is pop into Rex Bay. It's the first bay on the left and has the wrecks of two ships, which are well worth checking out. I couldn't find any notes on which wreck was which, but one of them is the Kabaki, which is a wooden steamer that was built in 1928, and the other one is the Itata, which was built in 1876 in Chile. There's a fair bit of history here, and I think both were sunk in this part of the harbour during World War II by the army. Beyond the wrecks you've got some waterfalls that are in amongst the trees and uh, it's quite a nice spot to actually poke around, although as you can see it's getting pretty shallow. You can see one of the wrecks on the left here and the other one's right in front of my boat. Once you get past Rex Bay the harbour starts to widen and you get a little bit more of an appreciation for all the real estate that's sitting at Mossman and Seaforth. It's also quite enjoyable to wander through all the boats that are moored here and it keeps you out of the main flow of traffic in the harbour. I'll talk about the trip we did on the day here and then give you some other options at the end. The next stop was up here where there's normally a good chance of spotting seals. In New South Wales you're not actually meant to get within 40 metres of a seal but when you're paddling along and realise there's one on the wharf, uh, the best thing to do is take a photo and get back to a safe distance because they can be quite aggressive. Although old mate here was just living his best life. There's no guarantee that you'll actually see a seal here, but uh, on the couple of occasions I've been through here, we have been lucky enough to spot one on different wharfs each time. There's also a really cool mermaid statue that somebody's left down by the water. I always like to try and spot it. You can see the spit bridge there in the distance. Our next stop is the spit bridge. This was finished in 1958. It opens in the middle to let boats pass through and this is the first time I've seen it do it from the water. On a Saturday morning it opens at 8.30, 10 and 11.30 if you're planning to try and get there to watch it. The next stop was Clontarf Beach. Uh, this is about an 8k round trip if you're thinking of doing it. It's actually an excellent spot to stop. There's a couple of cafes and uh, toilets and everything you need to have a little picnic there. The cafe makes a fantastic cheese toasty and you can see on the left here the beach is just perfect for landing a kayak on. After we left Clontarf we decided to go on to Balmoral Beach. That makes it about a 15km round trip. I actually forgot to take any video when I was at Balmoral, so here's a photo to prove we were there. It's worth noting the Clontarf to Balmoral leg does start to get some ocean swell involved and at some points you can see through the heads out into the Pacific Ocean, so you do want to be aware of the weather conditions as you do it. We had a pretty good day and coming back you could see there was a little bit of swell there, but it wasn't too bad. 
One thing you can do on the return leg is drop into Sydney Harbour Kayaks. They're the guys that make the Mirage that I'm paddling today and it's a really great shop to stop into and get some kayaking gear. That kind of covers the paddle that I did uh, on this particular trip. But since you're in Middle Harbour and Tunks Park has a lot of options, I'll show you some of the other places that you might like to visit. The first one is Sugarloaf Creek. This is a really nice spot with long mangrove lined rivers that you can just follow up to the end. Uh, I really enjoyed this. It's quite a unique spot in Sydney to be this closed in and uh, have this many mangroves around you but still have a navigable creek. The other option is Bantry Bay, which you can also do from Davidson Reserve. And apologies, most of these are from before I started videoing when I kayak, so all I've got here are some photos. You can see the mangroves again, and you've also got a wharf and a picnic area, and it overlooks a really nice uh, old ammunition storage area for the army, so you've got a little bit of colonial history there as well. No matter which way you choose to explore, there's actually a lot of options in this part of Middle Harbour, and you can go back for several trips. So look, thanks for watching. I know this is a little bit of a different format to what I do normally. If you like this format, reach out in the comments and let me know. And if you're thinking about other places to kayak around Sydney, why not try the kayaking guide I have for Cottage Point, which is linked here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.